iOS 15 is coming out in a matter of weeks. There are a lot of new privacy features. Yes, we are seeing the child safety features that have caused quite a bit of controversy, but at the same time, there's lots of anti-tracking privacy features that are worth knowing about. What excites you most about iOS 15? What should we all be looking forward to? There's a lot of big new features coming out. iOS 14 introduced quite a lot of new privacy features. We saw app tracking transparency, which was a real blow to the likes of Facebook by showing users who's tracking you online and where and giving you the opportunity to stop it. So iOS 15 is actually building on that. And we're going to see a new report that shows you exactly who's tracking you and when they're doing so. That's coming in later in the year, so we're not going to see that immediately, but what we are going to see is we're going to see a report, and this report's going to show which permissions apps are accessing. So say if you've given an app permission to access your camera, it's going to show that it is accessing that on a report and how often it's doing so. Really useful for you to kind of be able to go through that, tick things off and make sure that you're locked down as much as possible. So we've seen, um, I mean, clearly with iOS 40.5 and, and we started to see Apple really tuning up the privacy and security side. We've talked a lot before in iOS 15 about private relay and mail tracking and all the new privacy innovations that are coming. But the message for users is it's not it's not all there by default. So things like private relay and mail tracking, you've got to go in and make sure you're, if you're set up right with the new enhancements to tracking transparency you've got to go in and look at stuff you've got to check out the privacy labels look and see who's tracking you so apple's not doing it all it's giving you the tools but clearly what we'll try and talk through over the next few weeks on sdc is exactly how to set up your phone to stay as private and secure as possible yeah, it's important to kind of be aware of the features, first of all. So we've got this app privacy report. So that's the first one. There is also um, enhancements to iCloud. It's called iCloud Plus, uh, where Apple users are going to get these great new features like private relay, which will add to the anti-tracking side of things, stop people from being able to profile you online. So that's one feature. And then we've also got the anti-tracking email features coming in, um, which will stop people who are marketers who are sending you emails from being able to see when you've opened the email, your IP address, your location, which can be garnered from your IP address. Just know that these features are coming. Once they're here, we can show you how to use them and we will be doing that on a uh, show coming up of STC.